Hey guys, Vildzoid here, and this is going to be a super random video explaining why I don't like performance uh, like bar charts or bar graphs. Why I think they're stupid. So here we have a like example bar graph with a bunch of you know example GPUs like A, B, C, D, E, F here. Um, we've got some FPS scale down here, right? And we've got these lovely bars. And immediately with this chart, the first complaint I have is like, well, I don't actually know what these freaking bars are unless I go and do this, right? Okay, so now I can see that's like 57.5 FPS, right? But so so at this point, I, I would argue that, you know what? As a as a as a viewer of this of this bar graph, I would really prefer it if we just had the frame rate at the end of the the, the bar, right? Like just just give the freaking number. Just put a fifty seven point five there. Uh, this one is like a fifty five. This one, because that's the thing is like I need to go and trace this out to the actual scale, which is just like just. So, so you're gonna end up, you know, putting all the freaking numbers at the end of the end of the bars anyway, right? At which point I have to ask, like, so what's the scale for, right? Like, wh why? What's it doing? Like, you already have the like the number is literally right here. All you have to do is read it, which I know is very difficult if you're a YouTube commenter. I understand that, <laughs> um, but you can just read the bloody number. And at that point, I also got to ask, so what's the bar for? Right? Like, if, if we've got this number right here, what does the bar do? Like, I don't know about you, but I don't, me like, I don't look at a GPU and, you know, buy it based on the fact, oh yeah, I got really big bars on those charts. I buy it because the GPU spits out 70, like, some frame rate in whatever game it is that I want to play. So, at that point, the bar is also useless, right? Like, I don't get what the bar is supposed to do. Like, yeah, I guess it's, inter like, fun to look at or something. It makes the numbers less scary. But, like, it doesn't actually add any to, like, it doesn't give you any more information. So, as far as I'm concerned, the bar can go straight to hell, too. Um, oh, and now we've not got a bar, now we don't have a graph anymore, we just have a table of results. And I like results tables. Having result tables makes sense, and, you know, uh, like, they're useful. And what I normally would like to do is, like, add a percentage to the closest next result as a, as a little addition. So, like, I, I don't know what it is for these two, that's, those are too close together. Did I seriously not give myself a easy option? Well, we have a 40 over here. Uh, yeah, but I don't know how to scale that up to, like, a 55 off the top of my head. But, you, like, it would be nice to have, like, okay, this is, like, plus 5%? Why does that sound correct in my head? 50 divided by 20. It's two, that is 2.5, right? Yeah, that is 2.5. So, yeah, so that's, yeah, so th this is also useful, right? Like, to have an indicator of what the performance gap is between the two different frame rates. Maybe you want to include that your error margin is like plus minus two FPS or whatever. That's all useful information. The visual representation as a freaking graph bloody isn't. Um, graphs are really good for tracking like relationships between two variables um, or be between two things you're, you're measuring. So like my favorite example would be like voltage. Uh, so let's say we have uh, voltage down here and then power draw over here. And, you know, if, if you're doing testing of this, you might get some, you know, data points that look something like this. Um, and now the graph is useful because we can go and, you know, create a best fit line and go like, oh, so there's a quadratic relationship, um, which actually that's not a very good parabola. And I, actually the problem is like that parabola ends somewhere in like the way, way negative temperature range. So you, you really only get like this part of it. But anyway, um, so, you know, theoretically, if I had drawn this example correctly, we'd have a nice little like half, half a parabola hanging out on our chart here. And we could go like, oh, there's a, there's a, uh, you know, um, uh, square, like, power scales with the square of the voltage relationship going on. Or you can also do a power versus frequency 
um, graph or any number of like things like that. I guess you could also do FPS versus frequency, which is actually a useful useful thing. Like if you want to check, like say if you're trying to test if a GPU is like memory bottleneck, you might go like mem uh, mem clock versus FPS. Right, and then you're gonna see something like as you lower the memory clock, um, you're gonna get something that looks like that, because past a certain point, you you're maxing out how much data the GPU is capable of processing, and being able to shove another you know hundred gig like fifty gigabytes of data into the core doesn't do anything for the frame rate. So th then you have like this relationship, and you can go like, okay, so uh, for this this specific core clock. It, it only makes sense to go up to like some memory clock around here or something, right? Like somewhere before the point of very, very diminishing returns. You can do the same thing for like FPS versus power draw, which would actually, like that'll always look something like this. <laughs> like your power draw would, like you're gonna have something that looks like, oh, anyway, that, that takes too long. So graphs are great when you're trying to like figure out a relationship between two variables. They're bloody useless for, comp performance comparison because you can just do that in a table like what does the graph add to your fps figures it doesn't really add anything as far as i'm concerned um like th that that's like the thing is like i see a lot of people complaining about how like bar graphs have like weird scaling like they're chopped off at like like they don't go all the way to zero or some kind of thing. And that's something I completely miss because I ignore the freaking bars. Like if there's a bar graph that I'm looking at, the only thing I care about is the actual values at the end at the end of it. And if there's no values at the end of it, then it's a pretty crap graph anyway. So why would I be looking at it, right? So it's just like, the, the, all of this right here is just extra. It's totally unnecessary. Does not ultimately change what the information means whatsoever, right? And and the reason why I pointed out like the the percent increase is because like if if you see a five percent difference between two two entries to the you know performance table, it's like well those are basically the same thing. So yeah, that's that's my thoughts on graphs and why I don't use them, because they're dumb, like. I, I do, like, you know, I, I do sometimes get annoyed, like, tracking results and having, like, a table of results, okay, that makes sense. Having a graph for performance, dumb. Or, yeah, dumb. <laughs> just just dumb. I don't really, like, I'm, I assume the reason people like them is because they're colorful. That's the only conclude. like, that's the only way I can understand people wanting freaking bar graphs for, like, FPS numbers when it's, like, but at the end of the day, we we both know that all you care, all you and I care about, is the actual FPS number, right? Like, like you you don't actually care about the the bars on the graph, right? Because that's concerning. Um, so yeah, um, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I guess uh, like, share, subscribe, maybe <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and uh, leave it. Uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section below. If you'd like to support what I do here with Actually Hardcore Overclocking, I have a Patreon uh, where you can support me directly. There's also the AHOC Teespring store where you can pick up shirts, stickers, posters, you know, the usual YouTuber merch. I'm kind of starting to... No, that MCLK versus FPS graph was fine. Um, I was getting kind of worried I might have drawn something that doesn't actually make any sense. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, there, that's, that's it for the video. Patreon, Teespring, links in description. Help out the channel. Much appreciated. Thanks. Goodbye. I'm turning the video recording off.